Hi everyone, welcome to Python Programming. So today we are doing how to extract the new ML library using a Python. So I know uh, the, some libraries are coming nowadays because the developers are developing a new new libraries, new project they are doing. They are doing the new automations, they are they exploring the new things. So how you can get that new libraries and how you can uh, inform that a new library is here. So you can create some alert uh, using the uh, Python uh, or yeah, you're using a Google and you can explore like uh, in a Google like I want to search a new machine learning library of Python so we can search uh, that uh, things and you can go for uh, the official of py uh, pypi website and you can uh, easily get that information so but if you want from the Python, how they will be give the all the machine learning libraries that are uh, available uh, in your uh, so you can search any project anything uh, by uh, Python because this is an official website and you can search and you can uh, see that website but how you can get from the with the Python code so we will see today so basically first of all uh, we are importing the all the information from uh, PYPI and this is a python uh, basically official website so first of all i'm importing the request and then i'm importing the beautiful soap so why i'm uh, beautiful soap because i need to extract the information from the web so then i'm importing bs4 as a beautiful soap and uh, then i'm creating one function basically and that function will be search uh, the py uh, from the pypi and they will be search one query so let's suppose here issue uh, the query is like search uh, from beautiful soap and get the url and then we need to extract uh, like this and uh, we will get that uh, from the url so what we need to get <coughs> basically uh, the query we need and then i'm writing the num request so i'm basically uh, giving the num result only the 10 it's not more than 10 okay and uh, basically we are importing uh, the query and <clears throat> what you want more so let's suppose i want to more about the created who created that library and all the information they will be show you uh, here so i'm writing like this so you uh, i will show you this co uh, code i will I will copy this simply and the query whatever the query will be here so that will be show okay then uh, we we put it that response request dot that url so that will be get the url then if response is status code equal to 200 then what we need to do then we need to do this so beautiful so then response dot text into the html as file okay then we need to save that result so we will save the result like this so let's suppose i will write uh, this so so basically i will write this all code in uh, in the in the description so basically you have to run this code and everything will be there so uh, this is the num underscore result and the package uh, will become here then comma what is the limit limit is the num result okay so that i'm taking here num underscore results so this is the there then after that return so what we need to return so return here the result okay so what we uh, what they found so results so results and dot find then span span comma which class the class underscore equal to package so which package they will found so package package does uh, paste 
same like above so what they snip is and that will be show here snippet maybe so that will be uh, here then next before result in results okay so that is a loop okay results so that will be show us okay so now uh, this is result is safe else okay if it is not there okay if uh, something is problem else what we need to do else it will be show the result status as a fail so we we need to print as a response status code or you can write uh, like uh, error in the response status code we can show or we can write like error to fail to retrieve like fail to retrieve the, from the and the response code is also showing that okay then uh, return will be zero return is blank Correct. then this is the done okay and it will be come here okay now it's going to be correct okay after that this is done okay then this is our function so basically we need to print here whatever uh, in the function okay so how we will call so new underscore ml underscore functions uh, or i can say library okay so this is the uh, i created uh, one variable here and search uh, from py this is my function uh, i created search py py, uh, py pi and new machine learning libraries okay or uh, you can search it for machine learning libraries machine learning okay so whatever the machine learning related because if you write that libraries so uh, like i write it as machine learning okay then num underscore results so let's suppose if you want uh, only the top five or top 10 libraries they will be show you so one more message we will write print new machine learning libraries okay then simply you have to run this so now you can see here is showing the new libraries are here so it's showing that uh, my my scope is here typer is here so let's suppose like i will write here new machine learning library okay so let's see how many libraries uh, it so now you can see here is showing something uh, different libraries okay let's go again here and let's run this uh, okay now you can see uh, see here is showing the mira scope is 1.06 is version is launched and this library is llm uh, library and built in for the software engineer we strive to provide a developer llm api so this is used for this and let's suppose run this uh, search oh sorry search this one box or else you can go in the pypi and you can get all the information about how uh, which new libraries come in in the bucket so this is all for today thank you guys